reproduction. We have the skills that it is of two types, sexual and asexual reproduction. Now in this part, we are going to understand what are the various methods of asexual reproduction and what do we actually is the what do we mean by the sexual reproduction? Now, as you can see, the sexual reproduction has the formation of the male and the female gamete, which results into the formation of the zygote, and the zygote later on develops as an individual. When we talk of a sexual reproduction, there are various mechanisms by which the organisms have trying or they have developed various mechanisms to undergo the process of sexual reproduction. So the important mechanisms are, first is the fission, the second fragmentation, third is regeneration, fourth is budding, fifth vegetative propagation and sixth is the spore formation. These are the major methods of asexual reproduction. Now, this uh, we'll discuss one by one the mechanism for the reproduction. Now, first is the fission. The fission is into two types further, and uh, that is the binary fission and the multiple fission. Binary fission is a phenomena in which the organism divides simply into two, whereas the multiple fission is the mechanism or the method in which the organisms divide many times so as to produce a large number of offspring. Then is the fragmentation. Spirogyra is a very good example of it. Regeneration is the third type. Budding is seen in hydra and other organisms as well. Vegetative propagation, that is mostly the plants are actively uh, following this method of reproduction. And the spore formation, which is an important method of reproduction in the case of uh, fungus, that is rhizopus is considered as a very good example. When we see the type of asexual reproduction, we can see it by simple activity. That is, if we keep up by a slice of bread, moist slice of bread, in a uh, very uh, in a, a warm place, after few days, after one or two days, you will observe a green color fungus growing on it. And if you observe it under the microscope, it is the fungus which has developed that is mainly rhizopus and uh, which is also known as the bread mold and uh, this is a very common observation. Second important activity which we can do is to uh, grow the yeast that is if we take uh, 10 gram of sugar in 100 ml of water and we take a very little amount that is approximately 20 ml in a uh, test tube that is sugar and water 20 ml of this in a test tube and we add little of yeast to it close the mouth of the test tube and keep it at a warm place where there is no uh, like it should be at a warm place so after two or three hours you be Take out the culture from the test tube and observe under the microscope. We will see a lot of yeast growing over there by the process of budding. So these are various methods of a sexual reproduction and we will be discussing one by one.